Hey guys, this is Chaitanya here. Do subscribe to Siddharth Kanan's YouTube channel now. How was the approach different when you worked in the the Hindi film industry for this film? Was it same? Was it different? What was it? Be very candid. It was very different. And fortunately for me, I mean, the first film I did was with Amir Sir and an Amir Khan production. I mean, I think I've been spoiled. Uh, but the standard has been set very high. Uh, what I saw and what I experienced was something totally different from what I usually go through with a Telugu film. The kind of uh, importance they give for prep, for pre-production is enormous. And also the number of screenings they have post the shoot, you know, gathering opinions from various uh, people, uh, you know, uh, fine tuning the film a thousand times. All these processes are very new to me. And I've always been a fan of this kind of uh, work. I've read about people making films like this, but I was actually experiencing it for the first time. Which, which really amazed me and I think I learned so much from it that I can take some back from uh, what I learned and sort of apply it in the films going forward. Tell me, what's your most annoying habit? One habit about yours that annoys you or people around you and you're saying, you know what, I've got to work on this. What is that? <laughs> that I fall asleep at 9.30. You're sounding like Akshay Kumar right now, yeah? Because everyone on the set, were, you know, they're all like, they all sleep late, uh, 2.33, you know, it initially, it, it took me so much time to get used to it. And I was told that's generally the way the Bombay, you know, vibe is like everyone goes to bed late, wakes up a little late and then starts the day. So uh, everyone's like making fun of me, like, oh, chair sleeps at 9.30, let him go, chair sleeps at 9.30, let him go. <laughs> so I was getting tripped on quite a bit for that. So, I, yeah, maybe I should change that whenever I do a Hindi film. Let's see. No, but listen, that's a damn good habit. Huh? Please don't change it, okay? Don't let the world spoil you. Okay, uh, the, who's been your celebrity crush? I've always uh, grown up like crushing on Katrina Kaif. Yeah. Yeah, have you told her about that face to face? No, I've, I've never gotten a chance to meet her. Listen, what is with you not meeting Kareena Kapoor Khan, not meeting Katrina Kaif? We've got to do something about it, yeah. Do something about it. No, why don't you like call them on your show now? <laughs> and make you meet them face to face, right? And you can express. Yeah. What, what is that one thing you love about Katrina Kaif? I mean, she's beautiful. Uh, and uh, I've... I've seen where she started off from and where she is now, the way she's grown as an actor, uh, you know, both with her performance and her looks and the way she dances, everything. She's progressed so well. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what I truly appreciate. Last time you got rejected. It could be for a role or whatever, where you said this rejection was tough. But it's okay. There, there have been, uh, you know, in, in uh, the early stage of my career, I, I have reached out to, to a few directors who I wanted to work with. But, you know, they sort of, they cast, they went with someone else. I wasn't casted in those films. And it, of course, at that point of time, it does uh, sort of uh, pull you down. But you also come out of it if you can hold on and, you know, sort of fight that feeling, you can come out of it with a lot more confidence. And today I'm here looking back and thinking to myself, yeah, all that happened for a reason because you need rejection, you need failures to teach you something in life to actually help you move on and to, you know, help you progress. So I'm very thankful for all my failures and uh, whatever rejection I've, I, I've been through. You know, a lot of people, and I know that's not true, and I'm saying this on camera, brother, that a lot of people feel, hey, he's from a film family, it's going to be easy for him. It's not that easy as it sounds, right, Chaitanya? Yeah, see, uh, it's, it's, it's easy in the beginning. Uh, uh, let me be open with, uh, frank with you. It's easy to start off. You have a great platform to sort of launch yourself off, which uh, many people don't have, and I'm, I'm very fortunate for that. It also comes with a lot of responsibility. You know, uh, when you fail, it, the failures are highlighted a lot more. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the criticism is much more. And, and what I can say is in today's, in today's industry, there's so much talent around you. Uh, you're not given too many chances, whoever it may be. You know, it, it's, it's all equal at the end of the day. Uh, 
you make a few mistakes there's someone to replace you so yeah i would i would i would say that it's it's an easier start for someone like me which i'm very fortunate about but once once the ball is rolling uh, you know you start making mistakes no one's going to forgive you who is that one contemporary actor amongst your age group or few years up and down who you really admire and you say, this guy is kicking some ass who would that be i uh, i would say ntr and ram charan are you good friends with them too yeah i know both of them well uh, you know we meet at events and we meet at common gatherings yeah do deep down do would you want to do one hardcore action film with both these gentlemen as well since you just mentioned that you mean you know stereotyped in romantic roles do you feel somewhere you want to just show your rippling muscles and punch a few people on screen absolutely why not uh, but i think there's also a transition that i have to make into it i just can't jump into it because the audience has sort of owned me in a different texture so far so for me stylized action more realistic kind of action is something i i, I relate to a little bit more and i feel would suit my body language better so i i want to like sort of test waters with that kind of a texture first before actually getting into the larger than life uh, kind of uh, spectacle kind of a you know uh, action film okay now what comes to your mind and tell me okay i'm going to take a few uh, actors names tell me what do you feel about them all right your bond are you ready my friend okay so here yeah. goes what comes to your mind when i say vijay devarkonda uh crazy <laughs> have you got each other's crazy vibes since you're the 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 subtle boy and he's the guy who's out there in terms of being extrovertish no i i haven't gotten a chance to hang out much with vijay i of course i watch all his work and you know it's it's really amazing how he's built himself uh but yeah i i haven't hung out much with him okay uh rashi khanna is a great friend kavita dulipala <laughs> i'm just going to smile <laughs> whatever you want to decipher all right but that's a cute smile okay so uh kriti shetty is uh is a baby <laughs> yeah really like like putti papa types putti papa yeah cuz she's so young and like she's so she's she's so like she's so cute and innocent in such a nice way lots of love lots of respect i am sadat kanan thank you chetanya for talking to me my friend Thank you so much Siddharth it was good fun thank you